Hello there, thanks for dropping by. In this video I'm going to sh look at uh, some standard roller blinds that you can see on the market and show you what quality your blind is compared to an average blind. Also I'll be showing you how to fit the blind and results that you can expect. Okay, so firstly let's look at a standard quality blind that you typically find on the market today. Now blinds probably aren't something that you paid a lot of attention to but uh, I'll just point out a few, a few issues. It's a typical blind. Um, first thing to notice is that the fittings are the wrong colour. Well, that can happen, I suppose. Might be good enough for some people, certainly not good enough for me. Uh, the other thing is that the fittings are plastic, which means that they move a lot. The trouble is with plastic is that it, it actually gets brittle over the years. Now, in a recess where the blind's set into the window, that's not an issue. If you've got a big blind on plastic brackets mounted on the face of the window, uh, let me tell you, if those brackets get brittle, they start they bend a little bit anyway before they get brittle. Once they start getting brittle, you've got a chance of that blind actually falling out. Okay, so let's look further at a few issues with this blind. And, and this is fairly typical. Firstly, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not parallel. It, the blind's not cut square, which means it's higher this side than it is this side. And with these type of blinds, you haven't got any adjustment to adjust that out. You, that's what you get. The other thing, look at this tatty bottom weight bar. If, I mean, this is the cheapest of the cheap because all they've done is sewn it over and put a bar in there. Absolutely hideous. Um, that's not the sort of thing that we supply. Uh, I wouldn't touch this sort of thing with a barge pole normally. Uh, let's drop it further down. Oh, oh yeah, let's, uh, we've noticed it's actually hit the ha handles here. Now, <laughs> that's not good. I mean, the, the, the blind's not being rolled correctly, therefore it's hitting the handles. Normally it should be reverse rolled, which we'll look at in a minute, so it clears the handles. Now that may not be a big deal for you, but the fact is, if you've got keys in there, in, in your door handles, and you're driving this up and down, and your kids are doing it, chances are this is going to get damaged, and uh, they're probably torn or something. What else we got? Well, one little issue, child safety these days, particularly in kids' bedrooms, where you're kitting them out with a nice roller blind, if you watch the news a few times a year, you'll see children getting hung up and strangled in, in, in chains. So what you need is a quick release chain that any tension to put on it, it the, the chain will snap. That's what we supply. So we'll ch we're fully child safety compliant. So do be aware of that. So um, yeah, that's a typical blind, a cheap blind. As I say, I, I wouldn't like to, ins uh, in fact, I wouldn't install anything like that for one of my customers. So we'll look at fitting the blind next, and then we'll look at the quality of the blind that we've fitted, uh, the blind that we're supplying. Okay, so uh, we'll move on to that. So let's now talk about fitting the blind. Uh, first thing you need to do once you've got the blind from us is um, take it out of the box, that helps. Um, you'll need some scissors to take it out of the plastic packaging and then take the blind. If it's a recessed fit blind, i.e. one that fits into the window, first thing you can do is just check it fits snugly in the window frame itself. Okay, which this does. Okay, so that's a good start. So we're going to fit this blind in the window here and that will cover the whole length of that window. So, that's the blind, we'll put that to one side for, for, for the start, and we'll look at the fittings. With the blind, you'll get a couple of fittings. If it's a recessed fit, you'll get two brackets like this. Okay, they go in each corner. And uh, you'll get a few, four screws, okay? And they're very short screws, so you hardly even need to penetrate the plastic at the top, by the way. So, the fittings themselves, if you look at them, You've got one that's got a star shape in the middle, that's the control end of the blind. And you'll know by looking at the blind, it's an L shape and it's got two elongated holes in the bracket. They're the two holes that we'll be using. So what you need to do, first, first uh, thought, 
is check end is the control to the blind and the blind on this has a control on the right hand side so that means that the fitting with the cross needs to go on the right hand side so all you need to do is take the fitting the, the bit with the elongated holes in place against the window like that Go up to the top of the window, normally leave a gap of about 6mm between the top of the bracket and the bottom of the recess there and just mark the two elongated holes with a pencil. Okay, put the bracket down, once you've done that, take your drill, you'll need a 3mm drill, drill bit in here and just drill through the middle of the elongated hole. Okay. I've got that done. Uh, I've already drilled the top hole uh, to save some time because it does get a little bit boring. Um, then take either a screwdriver or for speed I'm going to use the electric screwdriver, crosshead bit which Phillips screwdriver. Take the bracket and put it into the position and put the top hole the top screw in. Okay, take the other screw. Okay, that's not going anywhere. And no, it's a metal bracket. It's not gonna, you know, it's not going to deteriorate once it's got sunlight on it, which is very important if you're fitting it to the face of the window, remember. Okay, now to save time, what I've actually done. I've fitted the one at the swivel end of the blind, that's a plunger end, and then all we've got to do is take the blind. What I normally do at this stage is clear my tools off the windowsill, use a duster, get rid of all the rubbish, then start with, um, clean your hands as well, that can help. And then take the blind, and what you need to do is a couple of things. One is at the control end of the blind you've got a blue hook make sure the hook portion is facing down and above the hook there should be a white tab okay if the white tab is not immediately above the hook turn it round until it soft clicks above the hook otherwise it won't fit into the bracket now the other thing you need to do is the child safety portion of the chain, this bit that gives way when it's put under tension, under tension, that needs to be at the front of the blind towards the top, okay, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, now get up to the level of the blind, firstly put the blue hook and that tab into the bracket, and then with the other end, Depress the spring plunger, it's quite easy to do with your finger, and push it into the bracket until it locates in the hole. Right, now often at this time, uh, the blind may not be to totally taut, so you can just pull it down to take any of the, the looseness out of it. But it's, it's not a big deal normally, right? And then just move the blind down, pulling the chain gently. Now, as I said, you should have a clear windowsill, and of course, in talking to you, I'm cleared the windowsill, but you'll see that the blind is coming down, it's level to the windowsill. If it's slightly out, because you've located the holes in the elongated, the screws in the elongated hole, you've got a little bit of movement. So you can easily clip that out with your finger, that end, or use a screwdriver if you need to. Wind the blind up before you do it, you don't want it getting damaged. Okay? And uh, just adjust the brackets to take that out of it. However, normally it's not a big problem. You'll also notice that as the blind comes down, hey presto, it's clearing the handles, and that is because it's wound the right way. It's round off front of the blind which makes the whole thing look nicer anyway because you haven't got a line of plain fabric interrupting the picture which uh, it, it, it just finishes the blind off. The other thing to notice, we talked about this just wind this up so we've got some light in here 
We talked about this child fab, this child safety issue. If you look, okay, so you, you you've got a child safe blind, which is particularly um, useful if you're installing these into a kid's bedroom. They're climbing up on the cot and all that sort of thing. You don't want them getting tangled up. If you need to cut the blind chain down, do that, but make sure you don't um, adjust the distance between the, the child safety and the fitting, i.e. take it off this end, this side of the, the chain, okay, otherwise it won't wind up. Now it's important, as I say, to get that in the right position, otherwise your blind won't go right to the top, okay. If you find that it's not in the right position, just take the blind out and adjust this or swivel the blind around, it's quite easy to do until this is in the right position. Otherwise, you'll find that this is at the top when the blind's halfway down. Okay, it's normally not a big deal, as I say. You'll note the integral bottom bar is solid, it's not falling out anywhere, it can't get damaged. I always suppose people take the keys out the window anyway, just in case. But uh, you've got clearance there, and you've got blackout blind. Okay, so that's the fitting. You can see the quality of the product there. There you go. Order and fit with confidence. Thank you.